The reason for the season. Colossians 1, 26 reads, Christ in you the hope of glory. It was in a borrowed womb and a borrowed stable that Jesus was born. At the time of his birth, he had no place to rest his head. Jesus, the Son of Man, was born, and Christ, the Son of God, was sent. As Christ, he is the Word of God who created the womb that gave birth in a borrowed stable. Jesus said in Matthew 8.20, Foxes have holes, and the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Consider the worship centers and the church buildings that man has built. And then the same people call this place the house of God. Most of these buildings have an invisible sign on the front door, Ichabod, which means the glory of God has departed. What happened in the Old Testament when Eli was priest is what happens time and again when man makes a house for God. The presence of God is not built by the hands of man. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit, and the Lord has made his resting place in you. You are called to be a theotokai, a God-bearer for the presence of God. You are called to be the resting or the dwelling place of God. You are called to carry his presence, as did Mary carry Jesus in her womb. The Lord will use you in the most unlikely places to bring his word to the people. This is the reason for the season. You are a carrier of the Holy Spirit, and the Lord will use you to break down mindsets, religion and tradition, so the word of God will have power and be effective. As the Lord chose Mary, so the Lord has chosen you. The borrowed womb and the borrowed stable were not a mistake or a last chance. The Lord borrowed the womb and borrowed the stable were not a mistake or a last chance. The Lord has chosen you and has mighty plans for your success and greatness through him. As you humble yourself before him, he will lift you up. As Mary said in Luke 1.46, my soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, for he has looked at my humble state of his servant, and from now on all generations will call me blessed. You are the borrowed womb to house the presence of God. You are the borrowed stable that will give birth to the next move of God. Don't, do not miss this opportunity. Isaiah 43, 19 says, Look, I am about to do something new. Even now it is coming. Do you not see it? Indeed, I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. This is the most important season to be alive and to know the purpose in life. You have been created for his glory and you are the river of living water to the dry and thirsty land. Truly, Christmas is not about tinsel or a Christmas tree. The reason for the season is all about Colossians 1.27. God wanted to make known among the Gentiles the glorious wealth of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ in you, the hope of glory, makes you a God-bearer. Christ in you, the hope of glory, makes you a Theotokai. Theo is God and Tokai means bearer. This is not Theotokos. Theotokos is the worship of Mary, who is said to be the mother of God. That's a false doctrine. You are a God-bearer for this generation. You are a Theotokai for this generation. You are a God-bearer for your family. You are a God-bearer for your community. And you are a God-bearer for the colleagues at your work. The reason for the season is that you are a Theotokai. Please declare this over yourself. Speak this over yourself. Declare what Mary said in Luke one forty six, My soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. For he has looked at the humble state of his servant. And from now on, all generations call me blessed. Both my wife Karen and I, we bless you and we thank you for listening to this podcast. And we pray that the reason 
for this season is made manifest in your life. We pray that the Lord will draw near to you and you will draw near to him and you will be a carrier of his presence. We bless you over this Christmas New Year season and we pray the presence of the Lord rest upon you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.